Welcome back guys. My name's KB, we're here in Boise, Idaho, and I'm gonna be going over a few options you have with Subaru's remote start feature. Before I get into the action, we do still have that giveaway that's about to go down. I did say I was gonna do it in this video. I'm not, and the reason being is I had one of you guys ask me about this certain feature. So I wanna go over that first, because you ask, I respond. Let's get into it. All right guys, if you have remote start, you're probably given this fob right here. You're gonna to wanna to make sure your car is locked, then press this twice. This chirps, that chirps, and then starts up. To cancel it, I'm gonna actually press and hold this for about three seconds. Shuts off, this gives you feedback knowing that the car shut off, so that's pretty neat. Now, I bet you didn't know that this is actually an extra fob and you can do the same remote start function from your main fob. With that being said, in order to do that, you actually have to press the lock button twice and then once again, so a third time, but hold it for three seconds. So I'd go. I think that's pretty neat. This could be used as an extra. You don't have to have this huge clunky deal in your pocket. I mean, most of my keys are anyway, but if you don't want the extra fob, you don't have to keep it on you. So to turn it off, same thing. Press and hold the lock button. And it's off. I hope that helped. Have a fantastic day. And again, stay tuned for the giveaway. It's coming soon. Yeah, I'll see you then.